Hi and welcome to the third video in my decluttering before moving series, which is kind of what it's become. Um, I have some stuff in my bathroom. I've put everything that I had in my bathroom cabinet and also in this little shelving unit that I have in there. Put it all on my desk right in front of me and I'm gonna go through everything because I'm pretty sure I don't need to keep all of this. So I've probably already moved when you're seeing this, but I'm filming this a few days before everything is getting packed up and leaving and then I'm gonna stay for a few more days, another week actually almost, and I will need like the essentials and preferably I would want to put everything in this little bag. This is from Sephora, it's just a really nice small um, toiletry thing bag, I don't know what these called, makeup bag. Um, so I want to put everything that I need in there and then the rest of it I want to pack up so that it's ready to be moved and I want to throw out quite a bit of stuff as well. So uh, I can start with taking the things that I know for a fact I will be keeping in my essentials bag and that is uh, let's start with the ordinary, which I have right here. Um, the Nysiamide, I think that's how you pronounce it. I bought that one yesterday actually, so I'm going to keep that one because I uh, finished one and I needed to start a new one. So that one is staying and also the hyaluronic acid and the acylaic acid. Those will all stay. And I will need a cleanser slash makeup remover, so I will also put the squalane cleanser in here. So those are all staying in my essentials bag. And then these other ones, um, I don't think I'll keep all of them. Which one is like the, I want to keep the AHA, no, that's not how you pronounce it. That's a Norwegian band, AHA and BHA peeling solution, the red like blood mask. I want to keep that one, but I'm not sure I want to keep it in. I'm not sure I want to keep it in my essentials or if I'm just going to pack it up. We'll see how much room I get, but definitely keeping that one. But I think actually the rest of them I can just get rid of because I've had them for a long time. And um, the buffet thing, it's just not really my favorite. I don't understand. It doesn't really do much for my skin. The caffeine solution is fine, but it's just, that's what it is. It's fine. It's almost done though. It looks really thick in here. Is it supposed to be like this? Oh, this is actually almost empty. I'm going to try finishing this one. Um, just using it wherever. And then once it's done, it's going to be put in my empties. But the rest of these, uh, the square lane is also not really that much left. But And the salicylic acid. I mean, I like the nice I might more. And I want to try the salicylic acid mask instead of this solution. So I'm going to get rid of all of these because they are just old and I don't want to keep moving them around to wherever I'm moving to. So yeah, keeping these. Um, also I'm going to keep my cotton pad things just because they were nice. Uh, but this thing, uh, this is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Milky Water. I did not like this as much as the normal micellar water, but I'm going to keep it in the cabinets um, just for now, and then I won't be moving this with me because it's just not that nice, and the bottle is really big, but I won't be able to finish it either, so I'm decluttering it, but I'm going to be using it for another for another week. And then my deodorants. Uh, I didn't really like this scent of this Bioterm one, even though I normally like it, but I like the ones with a white cap or blue or whatever. But this one is just not my favorite, but I'm gonna keep it. And then this Dove, 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 um, how do you actually pronounce that? Um, this one, I don't think I need to keep both, so I'm just going to use this one for now and then I'll bring this one in my essentials and then I'll throw this one out once um, I've used it for this week. I have a couple of body sprays. I do want to keep both of these. 
This one from Another Stories is absolutely amazing. And the Sol de Janeiro, even though I won't use that one like now, uh, because fall and winter, but I will keep it because I love it. So also keeping those. And then I have all of these like mini sizes and what the heck, like all of these samples. So what I'm gonna do is, unless there's like a sample that I really wanna keep, but I can't really see anyone that I'm like, oh yes, I need to keep this. Uh, I'm gonna see how many I can use before I move. And uh, the ones that I don't use this week, I'm gonna throw out because it's just, they don't take up that much space, but it's just kind of stupid to have all of these um, because I don't really use samples that often. So these are kind of a keep for another week item as well. And then in here, uh, it's just like mini sizes. I don't think any of this and the contact lens stuff, you get these every time you buy new contacts. I'm gonna get rid of those. And then this is a um, nose spray thing. Expires 2021. Okay, so I'll keep that one. Uh, it's for my allergies. And um, the rest of this, I don't think I've ever even used this one. Oh no, it's still sealed up. Okay, I actually want to try this one. So I'm going to keep that. This one is also not even used. It's the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. I wonder if this is still, like if this is expired. I'll see if I can figure that out because probably maybe glycolic acid doesn't really expire because I think I would like to try using this one again. It was like okay, but I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I'll like it more now. So I want to keep this one and maybe I should just use it right away. So this might go into my essentials. We'll see. And then the rest of this, uh, this is a wash off mask that I used quite a bit, but it's no, it's not really done. I think all of these can go. The glow mud mask from Pixie, I don't think I've ever, I, I probably used this one once. Okay, so maybe I'll try using this one again, like one more time before I throw it out. But the rest of this, I mean, these are things that if I use them this week, fine. But if I don't, I'm gonna just get rid of it because I can't see any like favorites in here. This one I probably not even tried either. It's open though. So yeah, this is gonna be my use it up before I move or throw it out stash. So I'm gonna put this in my cabinets and then I won't bother moving it with me. I do want to bring my Isle of Paradise self tanning drops though. These are kind of nice. Uh, nice to have a self, self tanning drop kind of thing. And I used it with my Sicilian Sunrise Body Lotion from Another Stories. I was hoping I would be able to finish this before I moved, but I haven't been using body lotion that much. So yeah, uh, it's not done, but I will bring it with me because this is really, really nice. So, but I'll probably just pack it up because I can't fit that into my bag. I also have a Chanel bath soap, which is kind of uh, bushy and extra, but uh, it's not even open and uh, I bought it because my mom raved about it and I'm not 100% sure I love the scent. It's very Chanel-y, very like old lady-ish. Sorry, mom. But um, I'm going to keep it because uh, I haven't actually tried it and she says it's absolutely amazing, but I won't use it now. I'll save it for when I go back home and um, I'll save it for my baths that it will probably happen because I don't have anything else to do at my parents house and you know this is an old H&M body scrub that I, I think I bought it as a gift and I ended up not giving it as a gift and it's not even open so I can't be bothered using a body scrub most of the time. I do have one open in my shower that I'm also going to use as much as I can this week. Probably, that I guess that means once or maybe even twice, but I'm gonna throw that one out as well. And then this one I'm just gonna give to someone, I don't know. Someone who will want it. Hopefully someone will wanna scrub a little bit. 
Talking of scrubs, I also have this Ola Hendrickson Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub, and this is actually kind of nice. Um, so this is almost done too. So I want to finish this one. So I'm going to keep that. Probably actually even going to put it in my essentials. And then my Clarisonic. Um, obviously keeping, even though they discontinued the Clarisonic, I'm pretty sure. And I won't be able to get new brush heads. I have two here that these are probably like this one looks really nasty. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And actually they both look a little sad. I'm just going to keep the one that I have and then get rid of the two extras. So, yep, keeping. Um, also, these pimple master patch things from Cosrx are absolutely amazing, so I'm keeping both of them. But I think one of them is like almost done, so I will keep that in the throw out after it's done thing. It's actually completely empty, so I'm going to put that in my empties. Interesting. Um, and then the last two things that I have in this container is a gel nail kit that um, I don't really remember why I bought this and I'm not sure I want to use it to be honest. I'm going to have to think about this one because I don't really use it. Maybe someone will want it. I will see. I can't really throw it out either because... You, someone could get use out of it. And then I have a another face, no, um, body mist, body scent thing. This one's actually not, it's like almost full. But it's really old. It smells nice. But I don't, I mean, I have a lot of stuff, so I don't want to keep this one. So I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, moving this container over there. And then, yeah, look at this stuff. Um, first of all, I have uh, this intuition uh, thing that I don't even have the blades for, um, like to, to shave your legs. And uh, I'm gonna throw that out because I don't know why I kept it. Because I don't, I haven't used it in forever because um, I have no blades for it. Uh, and then I have a lot of this um, solution for my contacts and I will this also has a lot of like self tan stuff on it but um, I will keep it I guess because it's it's actually expired I didn't know these things expired okay I'll just get rid of this because I can buy a new one and this is heavy and takes up a lot of room so I'll just pour that out and then I'll get a new one later on when I need it uh, and then I have more. I have contacts. Those I'll obviously keep. And more contacts. And more. Okay, so keeping those. Um, this is a cleanser that is actually almost done. I didn't love it. It's It has uh, some kind of acid in it. What is it? I'm not really sure. It is salicylic acid and a lot of other things and perfume and stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It wasn't my favorite cleanser and I do have one. It is almost done in my shower. I can just finish that one and then get rid of this and I'll need to buy a new cleanser when I get home. And oh, I have these things. Uh, that you use to remove like sebum removing cotton swab. These are actually cotton swab swab. These are nice, so I'm gonna keep those. And then a kit with like nail scissors and stuff. I'm gonna keep that as well. So that's nice to have. Um, plastic bags. Why do I keep things like that? And then I have this soap that I got for. It was a Christmas gift from my brother last year. It's an African black soap. And I think this is like a really good soap. I don't know why I haven't opened it. I'm just not usually a big fan of spar, spar soaps. Um, which, so it's kind of stupid that I have both this one and one from Chanel. But I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to bring it back to my parents' house. And we'll see if I 
use it or not. This is hand cream. I have a lot of hand cream. I don't really need to keep this. Also, it's just, I prefer a tube of hand cream. This is just a little messy. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have this, the Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Cream. And, uh, wow. Have I ever used this? I feel like I should use this up. So I'm going to keep it. I can use it on my body if I don't feel like using it on my face. And then I have um, this is what I use when I clean my brushes. So it's just a cleansing soap. This was actually terrible, so I'm going to get rid of this. And then I have just like soap in this little cup. So I'm probably going to clean my brushes one more time before I leave. And then after that, just get rid of the soap that is in here. Keeping the cup probably. And then I have all of these face masks and stuff. Like this is insane and these are old. Uh, this one I bought last year in when I lived in the US so I've had this for a while and I've never used it but I do want to try it. It's a um, shampoo cap. So it's like a dry shampoo in a cap. I don't know how this will work but it sounds fun so I'm keeping it. And then I have more. Like, why do I have so many open of these Cosrx Acne Pimple patches? Um, this one is almost full, so I'm keeping that. And um, this one is almost empty, so I'll just consolidate those two. At least I think that's the word. Combine. Consolidate, so the same thing. And then this last one is also almost full, so I'm also keeping that one. And then, oh gosh, like how old are these? And do they have an expiration date? Because if they do, I don't want to use them, but I mean, they haven't been exposed to any air so they should probably be fine uh, doesn't say on here so I'll probably keep them uh, this one I'm a little concerned about I don't know if I would like this but I want to try it this one though is extremely old I remember using this one I don't know why I never wore it I want to keep that one as well like this is stupid, but uh, a hand infused collagen infused glove. Hmm. Maybe when my hands get really dry. Yeah, when I use that one as well. I just I can't get rid of these. Also a foot mask that's kind of nice to have when winter rolls around. And then this one I'm pretty sure I I've tried before and I like. But uh, is that? It says I think it says. 2015 on here. I'm gonna get rid of that one because I feel like that one is extremely old and I'm just gonna keep all of these. I mean they don't take up that much space and um, yep I want to keep them. So this is my little keep pile and then ugh, these, this one is heavy. So this one has a lot of hair sprays and um, miscellaneous stuff. I know I want to keep my uh, dry shampoo because the only it's the only one I have here, uh, but I will probably maybe finish this one. Th these small ones uh, are pretty easy to finish, so I might finish this one before I leave. And if I do, I'm obviously going to throw it out. Um, and I also want to keep this Bedhead Head Brush Shine Spray because I really like this and it smells amazing. So I want to finish it. Uh, this one from Kev Kevin Murphy. It's the Bodybuilder Volum Volumizing Mousse. I don't really get this. I'm going to throw it out. It just doesn't really do much and it's a weird... Like, I can't actually make it 
um, be like the mousse texture that I want it to and it's just a mess. Nail polish remover, I'm keeping this glove for putting self tanner on. I'm gonna throw out before I move but I might still put on self tan one more time before I leave. And in that case, I will use this one, uh, and I will also keep this one because it has quite a bit left. And then this one, I don't really... I feel like this is pretty good, but I just don't like the fact that when I shower and put this on, it smells really, really bad the next day, so I will have to shower it off again. And usually if I shower at night, I don't want to... I shower at night before I go to bed so that I won't have to shower in the morning. So if I have to do both, I just, I don't bother. I'm, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And this one, I'm a little, mm, the Isle of Pir Paradise Clear self tanning Mousse. The color of this one is beautiful, but the problem is when you apply it, you have no idea where you've applied it and it can get a little streaky and um, just not look cute so I'm I'm not sure actually should I keep it should I not I'm gonna think about it this um, is like a hair mask thing this is really old and I just I don't ever use this so I can get rid of that and then this is a fun product, but um, it's a glitter spray. But I wonder if the glitter is like plastic. If it is, I don't want to keep it because I don't want to put that in my hair and then left. And then when I shower it out, um, I'm left with a lot of like microplastic. So I'm going to check that. And if it is like actual glitter, I'm gonna get rid of it, but if it's like natural glitter of some sort, I'm gonna keep it because it's a fun product. The other hairsprays, um, I can get rid of all of these. These are really old. Maybe I should keep the small one just to have one. Yep. Get rid of the two big ones. And then this one is, it's a smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. Uh, bedhead after party like this is kind of nice, but it's also hella old And I don't really use it that much. I'm gonna get rid of it And this Revlon all-in-one coconut hair treatment. It smells just a little bit too Coconutty for me, so I'm gonna get rid of that one as well Okay, so that means I'm getting rid of all of this stuff That actually helps quite a bit with the um, storage problem that I have because uh, I have a lot of stuff that I need to move and I don't really have that much space in the car that is my moving car, which is my parents' car. And I'm also getting rid of any of the samples and mini sizes that I don't use in the next week. And now that I remember it, uh, I also have a bag of... Um, like sun tanning, what is it called? SPF things. And I think all of these are really old, except this one. I bought this this year, but this is almost done. So I'm actually going to get rid of everything in this bag as well, because I want to buy new sunscreen next year. And then I have, the last thing is this um, makeup bag that has a lot of, oh, it has more samples. It's the kind of my travel, this is where I tend to put travel stuff. So I have, I have an extra of a like Uvenus um, shower shaving. What are these even called? The things that you use to shave. But I have two, so I'm gonna get rid of one. And then I have like a travel toothbrush. I, I mean, I'm gonna get rid of that. And a travel shaving thing again and uh, I'm gonna keep that one just because that one's not even opened 
uh, shower oil. I'm going to put that in my minis Clinique Moisture Surge. I'm going to put it in my minis that I need to use up or throw out. Maybelline Eye Makeup Remover. I don't think this is any good, so I can get rid of that one. A mini nail polish remover thing. It's actually kind of nice to have a mini nail polish remover uh, bottle, so I'm going to keep that. And then another shower oil. Like these are samples that I've gotten from somewhere. A mini uh, toothpaste. That's actually kind of nice. Okay, so I have a lot more room in here now. That's good. So I can probably put everything that I want to keep and uh, that I want my parents to bring in this big makeup bag. And then I'll have everything that is like my essentials that I need in my bathroom cabinet now in this mini one and um, I think I did not that terrible okay so that means I'm getting rid of all of this um, the stuff in the front here is stuff that I'm going to throw out once I've used them like this week and then all this other stuff is things that I'm just getting rid of and then I'm keeping the bag of essentials and a full bag of like other products that I don't need right now that I want to keep and another bag with the rest of the things that I want to keep that I don't really need this week so pretty much like 50% of everything is going uh, which is really nice that means I don't have that much bathroom stuff that I need to move with me I do have a lot of makeup that I need to move so um, it's a good thing I don't have this much because most of this is just like clutter or things that I've kept but I haven't really been using. So it's nice to get a big clean out. And that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you later. Take care. Bye.